Uh, we having uh, hello there. We having a problem with AC on 2018 Hyundai Accord. Basically, it's blowing uh, warm air. And after doing a lot of research online, there are a lot of Honda owners that are having AC issue, and it seems like the issue is pointing to AC condenser, you know, in which I think Honda Corporation is aware of. Even some dealer, uh, they mentioned about extended warranty for uh, AC condenser. So anyway, I'm on uh, Twitter here and I'm uh, tweeting to Honda's customer service here, right here. And I just told them what happened and I believe this should be a re this should have been a recall, so we don't have to, you know, dealing with uh, paying for diagnostics fee for like $180 and whatnot and have to deal with, you know, the dealer because the uh, the three-year warranty that we have is expire, expire already. But from what I read, uh, the condenser will be part of extended warranty. I believe it even extended to 10 years. If that's the case, you know, uh, I don't know about the... Uh, other thing like compressor that might be different but hopefully it will be just the condenser in our case because it just you know stop working anyway uh, I'm waiting for their customer service and I will update you guys of what's going on again uh, you can call deal you know a dealer or dealers around and ask them you know hey I believe I'm having you know uh, this is happening on uh, newer models, maybe like 2018 and newer, 2019. Uh, you can call dealer and explain to them that look like I'm having the common issue with AC, which is a condenser. Am I covered? You know, what do I need? Can I bring the car in and get it fixed? And we are in the Southern California. It's getting, it's been getting warm here. And, um, you know, my, my kid uses the car and, um, I just try to get her to to go to a dealer that you know will not give us problem but because some dealer will not be very helpful to you. So hopefully, uh, with uh, my uh, tweet here, uh, I will get some information for you, and I will definitely post update on my uh, uh, on my YouTube channel for you guys. So uh, this is a common problem; it's a headache, and uh, yeah, it should be a recall definitely. I also filed a complaint with, uh, uh, let's see if you can see with, uh, not this one, but excuse me, uh, it will be, just bear with me here. So with NHTSA, you can search uh, on their website and what I did, I put in the VIN number and then basically it, it asks you for the owner name and phone number and you know, so AC is part of the engine problem. So you want to pick engine when it lists a lot of systems. You know, you want, you want to select engine because engine also includes the cooling system. And then you, you will provide your VIN number and basically just tell them that, you know, blah, 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 the problem happened with newer models and it should be a recall and please help us and, you know, contact Honda Corporation and whatnot you know so we haven't gotten any letters so you know from Honda but I bet on my research I some people had already paid maybe thousand dollar to get it fixed and then they got letter from Honda later on maybe after a while that they can find the reimbursement with Honda Corporation and get their repair reimbursement but in, in our case we should be able to you know all you folks if you have a problem uh, should be able to to go to a dealer and get your condenser 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 fix uh, for free, hopefully. But call the, call a dealer first and and find out you know if that's the case. I called one of the dealers and he told me that if it, it is a condenser, is it falls under uh, extended warranty. So hopefully that helps, and we'll see you folks on the next video. Take care and stay safe, and enjoy your Honda. After you know, hopefully you don't have this problem, but. If there is, uh, here's what you can do. Thank you. Bye.